Welcome, folks, to Chapter 3 of our quest to complete the Mage Tower on every spec before 10.2. We now know that patch date is November 7, with the raid opening up on the 14th, I think. Blood DK, all the tanks, really, but especially Blood DK, pretty invincible in this first phase, as long as you don't tank the adds. Even if you get too many stacks, Anti-Magic Shell can absorb more than a full mind run. Hi folks, while I know that we're all used to one smooth, unedited take from my videos, uh, hi, I'm from the future. Uh, Baldi forgot to mention that Mind Run does AoE splash damage. So don't stand on Velen, and you know, Varus is dead when Corvos comes back out. All right, back to Baldi. Blood Death Knight and Guardian Road both have incredibly low health versions of Cruel and lower health versions of Varus, and with the addition of things like Soul Reaper and Triple Rune Weapon, which gives you triple Soul Reaper, right? Like an Execute. Cruel is entirely in Execute. Well, under 35% health. And it's a big boon to Death Knight to be able to do way more damage than when the challenge was at least brought back in Shadowlands. A little early on the orb there, but we had Drain Life casting, and we can make sure we may lay down two Nether Horrors. Nether Horrors, by the way, four Blood Death Knight remain stationary as they cast. So if they're on top of a friendly and they start casting, make sure you interrupt them or stop them. Hopefully they're dead before it starts. And this is what we have Death Advance for. Uh, it's just 10 seconds of knockback immunity on two charges, 45 second cooldown. Really lets you... I mean, ignore that stuff. It also, you know, works on every knockback, but do note that the stomp from the Infernal does do some damage, and you can maybe get into trouble if you, like, get stomped and like, annihilated at the same time or something like that. Get stunned on the way out. Using the eyeballs, like, proactively as, like, you know, A to B type stuff is, uh, is actually pretty cool for Blood Death Knight because otherwise you have no mobility. And unlike for Prop Paladin, we did wait to kill the ads before we let Cruel come down. And see, we're instantly Soul Reapering. We... Oh yeah, we do have Rune Weapon up. Awesome. I guess we popped it right at the end of Varus. Either way, Rune Weapon, you want to get as many Triple Soul Reapers as you can. That first Annihilate's just Lichborn, right? Uh, if you had a Rune Tap, you'd play that. I usually do, but... Purposes of the video, we just keep things more simple. And we're just constantly backing away from that infernal. Try not to use death advance on the purple things. Although, you know, you can if absolutely needed. We want to get this last ad yet. And for the next annihilate, we're just doing icebound fortitude, which is more than enough. If you were to get a third annihilate, you would want to one make sure you're extending the time cruel takes between annihilates, like by stunning him, disorienting him, stuff like that. But you would probably want to vamp and icebound if you were getting a third one. You can get killed by these and still complete the challenge, but you can't let Velen or Corvus die like after you kill Cruel. Either way, that's Blood Death Knight. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow in the next one.